guys. So it's been a while since I've like vlogged. Um, I don't know if I'm going to completely get back into it or if it's just going to be like when I feel up to it. Um, but last week I've had like a virus on top of like, um, just like me normally being, you know, like ill and, um, my teeth. So I don't, I think I've explained this like fully in a different video. I might not have, but I, we <laughs> went to the dentist months ago because I was having pain right here. And uh, when we went to the dentist, it turned out that I needed a root canal and I think two cavities filled. And then the next time I went, we did like, I'm not joking when I say like 45 minutes of dental x-rays, which is just not something that happens. Um, you know, usually people go in for x-rays and it's like three x-rays and then you're done and it's like two minutes. Um, but we didn't realize that I guess the malnutrition um, coupled with medication, like pretty much, but it's weird because my teeth like don't look messed up, but like they were all, all of them had cavities. All of them were, you know, like bad. And had we not like gone and fixed them, then I would have lost my teeth. Um, but maybe I'll do that in a different video. Cause it's kind of a long story, but between, they had just done my front um, my front couple of teeth, it felt like I had just had surgery on my mouth and then I got the, this terrible virus that I've been stuck in bed for like a week um, or over a week now and um, just like my normal stuff and so things have been a little bit like iffy for me recently but I just straightened my hair like just the top and I'm gonna do my eyebrows um, but I just called, um, I might be getting a part-time job at a chiropractic's office, and I, I called, I um, applied online like over the weekend or something, and I got a notification that they reviewed my application, so I, I just explained over this message why I think I'd be a good fit for the place. and. I think they would be really good for me and I think that it would be a good placement being that it's like a holistic place and they want their people to be healthy and so it also said on the, the website like any care will be part of the, the position so um, I'm just hoping that this ends up uh, you know like working out um, for me. So we'll see. Um, anxiety in waiting for a callback, but nothing you can do. Um, so I'm gonna just do my eyebrows. They are a mess. I haven't done them probably in like a month. So I just want to update you guys with that and I'll talk to you guys, I guess, a little bit later too. So hey, uh, you know, for the first time in a long time and I hope everybody's doing well and I'll see you soon. All right, so I did my eyebrows, did my hair, um, still by myself. Um, my mom went to, oh, I have to explain what's going on. My mom went to a, um, to my grandma's house to help give her a shower, but we had to go all the way to where Adrian lives, to the, the CVS, the pharmacy there, to pick up one of my prescriptions. I'm on Nucenta and I take an immediate release and an extended release and they just up the extended release to 150 to, or to 150 milligrams and the immediate release is, is um, 50 milligrams. So what I'm supposed to be doing is taking the extended release every 12 hours and then doing immediate release if I'm in like breakthrough pain. And we haven't, we chose to do an insurance plan with like a high, um, it was like an, it, basically we, we do everything out of pocket until we reach a deductible. And then once the deductible is met, then like all my medications are like $5, like, you know, it's really, really cheap, but I guess we're on the edge of reading the, reaching the deductible, so I have to wait now until Monday to get this extended release medication, 
and it's eight hundred dollars. But we know we know thankfully after that um, this medication for the rest of the year we are going to have to have buy it bought it twice um, between like five hundred and eight hundred dollars. But then it's going to be free for the rest of the year. So it sucks because you know, we have to spend $3,000, like, out of pocket, um, pretty much all at once, but, um, it means the deductible is usually met by the end of February, unless I had a hospitalization, and, um, doctor's appointments are, we don't have to pay out of pocket for, and prescriptions are really cheap, so, that's where I, I was earlier, um, and I'm reading a book on my fire tablet um, about a missing person's case and I called about the job which I'll tell you guys about later and um, that's what I've done so far it's just the law after five so hopefully my mom will be home soon but yeah I hope everybody's doing okay um sorry I've been MIA trying to get back into it so, I was just really sick this past week, like, really sick, but I'll talk to you guys soon. If anybody's wondering if we still have Thelma around, we do. I'm trying to get her into a situation where she maybe could be adopted out of a shelter or something. But we don't know. We don't know. She'd be such a good house cat. We just can't take her in. But we've been putting her, because of like the snow and like it being really cold out, some nights she's going into the um, bathroom mm -hmm. and we have uh, like a litter box set up and my mom even a couple days ago put soil on it and uh, you know we put like food and water there and towels and a little bed and everything and she doesn't go to the bathroom. She's never gone to the bathroom inside the house. So that's a problem because a cat needs to be litter trained to probably even go into a shelter. So, yeah. But we still bring her in to give her food and cuddle with her for a little bit. Hey guys, so this is um, turning into what's going to be a two-day vlog. Um, so it's Friday. And I haven't done anything today. I actually went to bed really early last night. Like, uh, I took my meds, I think, before like 10, which is not something I ever do. So I went to bed really early last night and then slept um, a lot. And I should... My mom had to go to... Uh, we own a um, Honda Accord, and she had to go to the Honda like place that's actually like a town away from Adrian, but Adrian's in Spain, um, and I should have gone with her, but it would have meant getting out really, really early this morning, and, um, it just wasn't happening, um, uh, but I went and saw my grandma, and I'm just kind of going down to sit down on, um, the, like, nice chair and ottoman that we have, um, because I'm reading a book, and I'm reading it on, um, Maura Murray, which, um, She's a college student that uh, disappeared in like 2007 or something like that and um, I started reading it last night and I'm like 30% way through 30% through the book um, and it's good it's um, it's basically like a, a journalist that wrote it that he was researching um, and meeting with people and doing all this stuff to um, to write like a book on it, but also to help the case. Um, so I'm interested to see how this book goes because I've seen videos on her case and it's pretty much cold. So, but this one I think I think this this book came out recently. I'll let you guys know. So I don't know if it brought up anything else, but um, I'll let you guys know. It's called True Crime Addict. If anybody is interested, so I'm going to go downstairs and keep reading that. Hey, Rosie.
Hey guys, so we have a three day vlog, um, but I promise things will calm down a little bit and maybe I will be able to vlog a little bit more after this weekend. Um, Adrian is going to be leaving at 6 a.m. our time um, and he has food poisoning. So there's that. Um, I have a whole story about their vacation to tell you guys. Um, I wanted to update you guys on some of my, like, crocheting and kind of that stuff that's been going on. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to do that. Uh, we're going out to get food, me and my parents, but where we're going, there's definitely no way that I'm going to be able to stomach what they're having. Um, it's like burgers and stuff like that. It's not happening. So, um, when we come home, I'll have, like, soup or whatever, but, um, yeah. That's, I took care of my grandma today, uh, so I can pay my loan off, and, um, apply to a few places. If I apply to some, um, companies that you can work remotely, meaning, like, I could go in for, say, going for your um, six weeks, um, in New York City for, I don't know where my charger is, for training, and then, um, I can, um, work from home, you know, like, the rest of the time that I have the, um, the job. So, um, I applied to, I think, American Express, I put my full application into, and then, um, Or maybe I didn't finish American Express. One of them, I didn't finish. The other one was, oh, was Hilton, which I think is, like, that's also, like, a remote one. I, that was just, it's all customer service type stuff. I don't know, when I get everything figured out, um, I'll let you guys know. I'm just really overwhelmed, like, really overwhelmed by all of this. And I can't find my, my charger for my phone. Um, I'm really, like, really, 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 really anxious about working, um, like, having meltdowns on, like, a daily basis because of how, like, nervous I am, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna find my charger, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs> Late night grocery shopping with the fam. Okay, so we went out and got food. I actually ate something there, and I did take pain medicine before I went, so... Um, I've been getting sick in the morning, um, recently, so it's like I wake up and I'm sick to my stomach, and then I take pain medication, and I get up, and not to, I really don't feel like oversharing, but I go to the bathroom a couple times, and then, um, the pain medicine kicks in, and I'm good, for the most part. Um, so I did eat, but... We are going to watch Bird Box, which I saw with Adrian, that I saw with my mom, because my dad was coming home late, but my dad hasn't seen it, and my mom hasn't seen it either, <laughs> so um, we're going to watch that, um, and I think I'm reading a book, but I think while um, they're watching the movie, or we're watching the movie, I work on the baby blanket I'm making for Adrian's hand. Um, I'll show you it better later, but this is what the yarn looks like. So I'll probably just take that in with me and work on it while we're watching the movie. Hey you guys, so I watched Bird Box with my parents and I'm going to close the vlog out, but I just wanted to show you guys um, the baby blanket. So. Adrian's mom has, I don't know where I put it, Adrian's mom has two sisters, um, Adrian's mom's the oldest, and then the younger sister, um, I think she's two years younger than his mom, and then the other one's like, like six years, six or seven years younger, eight years younger, um, she just turned 40, um, yeah. She just turned 40, and, um, she got married in September, or 
Yeah, I think it was September she got married. We just had a party at the house. It wasn't this massive big deal. But she's pregnant, and, um, you know, I figured that since, like, the holidays are over, I needed a new project that I would just, like, get on it and make a baby blanket. I've never made a baby blanket in my life before. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this out to show you guys. Um, so me and Adrian went, and we got the yarn, and I've been working so hard on it. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, I've done like 23 rows, I think, and um, this yarn, I mean this yarn, this blanket is um, 90 stitches wide, which is like insane, so I've done like 2,000 stitches. So the yarn was really, really pretty, and I think it actually came out pretty well, and this was before we knew the gender, so um, I had to get something that was... And I didn't know if she was going to, like, wait until the baby was born. So I just had to choose yarn that was going to be good for either. And um, I figured that there's this really nice baby blue in it. And we know that the baby is now a boy. So um, I'm going to do the... Um, the... Uh, the border. I'm going to do the border in blue when I'm done with it. So it's still gonna take me a long time. This I can't tell you how long I've been working on this. Like um it's I mean it's taken me forever so far. But um I'm hoping she's due in August so I have time. Um so I want to you know like kinda like work on it as soon as I possibly could. Um and anyway, um, I'm going to go to bed. I think I might have mentioned that I had a really bad virus. My body's still fighting it. Um, I'll talk to you guys maybe about that tomorrow. I'm not sure if tomorrow's going to be a one-day vlog or if it's going to be a few. I'm, um, I'm just not sure. But um, yeah, so back to vlogging and um, I'll keep you guys updated with the blanket. And, um, I'm just gonna read my book, actually, before I go to bed, so. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Um, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. I promise I have some good videos that are gonna be, um, recorded soon. Um, so, yeah, just hit the like bu button, hit the subscribe button, and if you guys have any requests, sorry, I thought I saw something out of my, corner of my eye. Um, for videos, uh, just leave a comment, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.